Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Now, I made a couple of videos tonight on plastic, and I was actually, uh, it, after I played my own video, it, somebody else's video came up that's pretty cool. I've never used Corel Paint or Photo Paint, uh, but look what you can do really quick. Called a plastic effect. So just grab your Texas, happens to be impact because it's a good thick. For this to work, you've got to go to a, and convert it to a bitmap. I'm guessing whatever color you want or whatever you need what is. If you will go to tools and options in Corel Draw, right under view is a check mark for double click to edit bitmap in photo paint. So I've got that checked. So now I have to do is just double click on it and it's gonna open this up in Corel Photo Paint that I very seldom ever use. Go to effects down to texture to plastic and you can play around with this uh, with the light. If you can see it's dark on that side, you could have the dark on the bottom uh, or whatever you wanna do, I'll put it at top you know, put it to the side and you could change the depth. I guess the depth of the plastic, I think the more is better. You can change the highlight and it'll make this white, like where the sun's shining through it or on it. I think you can actually take it too far and white everything out, but that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to right click, copy, open Corel back, I'm gonna hit F4, because I'm gonna right click and paste, because it's gonna put it in the center of the page, because it was working in the center. Now you can see it is a bitmap, because it's got a, right, a, a gray bounding box around it, but it evidently doesn't print. So we go and put a, let's use green, order back a page. All you can see is the plastic effect. It actually looks like plastic letters. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.